I'm ill. Hey there, hi there, hello there, and hello. My name is Michael, welcome back to Mike's Heart Reviews. I'm a little under the weather. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am feeling a uh, cold or the flu coming on, and I am doing my best to stave it off with some beef pot roast, ginger ale, and today's drink for day 12 of 25 Drinks of Christmas. That's good. So today on uh, 25 Drinks of Christmas, we're doing a hot toddy. A uh, hot toddy is Traditionally, uh, a sort of um, steeped up, quote unquote, medicinal cocktail that uses some citrus and honey and tea and usually, I think, gin uh, to create a sort of robust, refreshing sleep aid because that shit will knock you the fuck out. Sleep is good for sickness. You sleep, your body can restore itself and it keeps your immune system as strong as it can be, which helps you get through it faster. It's a whole thing. I'm wearing my work outfit, by the way. I don't. I didn't have the gumption <laughs> to put on uh, a bunch of um, Christmas garbs, so sorry. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine today, non-alcoholic, because you shouldn't drink alcohol if you're feeling sick. But despite that, uh, all you have to do is add some alcohol to it, and I'll tell you even which ones you should pick. Especially now, I'm gonna uh, wanna note, we're gonna make a variation on a hot toddy today, uh, an apple cider hot toddy, which a friend of mine named John Engstrom suggested that I add to the menu when I said, hey, I've got some open slots. And he was like, I got ideas. So for this, you're going to need a couple of things, some of which are missing from here right now because I'm still working on getting them done uh, over here in my kitchen. So you're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, you're going to need some apple cider, uh, cinnamon sticks, uh, honey for sweetness, uh, a lemon to steep into the concoction, and then uh, some hot, fresh tea. I would go for like an Earl Grey, something with a bit of, uh, richness and darkness to it. Really, that's about it. It's a very simple, simple drink that doesn't even require shaking or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and get, and get started here. Proper way to serve a toddy is in either a toddy or glass or an Irish mug. This one is in desperate need of a polishing, so not that one. So is that one, not that one. So is that one, not that one. And then Goldilocks tried the smallest bed and it was just right. No, it was the mid-sized bed, shit. You can basically build a hot toddy uh, directly into whatever glass you're making it in. And so long as it's a glass you can hold when it has heat to it, you're good to go. To begin, we more or less need to prepare our glass. Uh, we're gonna start by doing that with a nice thick slice of lemon, preferably with the seeds pulled out so you don't accidentally drink them down the line. I don't think there's anything bad about eating lemon seeds. You just shouldn't do it because they're not meant to be eaten but I don't think it'll hurt you if you do by accident, so. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's your bar, you do what you want, I'm gonna do what I want. Let's all just be bygones and just, just do it. <laughs> Drop that straight into the glass and we're gonna move on to our next element, some cinnamon. And in this case, you actually want a whole cinnamon stick, something that can steep and provide a very, very rich aroma and flavor. Finally enough, it also doubles as the garnish for the drink, which is nice and nice and convenient. We're gonna wait to put our honey in because we wanna know how much sweetness we wanna add. This is very much a by the serving basis. Um, so if you were to make a batch of this, you could probably standardize it to your own liking and then leave some room for people to add some more. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it alone for now and instead move on to our optional booze component. I would go for uh, a whiskey or a brandy. Um, just about anything will work, but I would go for particularly a bourbon or an Irish whiskey because they're gonna be a little bit more smooth, a little bit more rounded. As far as brandies go, anything you would drink neat, you could put into a hot toddy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily drink this Christian Brothers neat, but it's actually not bad, not bad brandy either, so. Two ounces of that, if you so wish, I'm abstaining because blah. Now from there to next to finish this off, we need a hot apple cider and uh, hot tea. Now this is the apple cider I purchased. It's store-bought, meant to be stored cold. I have some heating up on the stove now and it looks about done. So we'll add that and our tea in the same step. Well, boy, howdy, does this smell delicious. <laughs> Basically what you want to do is once you've got your spirit and everything in there, you're going to want to fill the space half and half with your black tea and your apple cider. This isn't the most safe way to do this, but it's how I'm electing to do it. About halfway. And then we're going to take our tea and just top that off and boom, a hot toddy, almost. Now, depending on what kind of tea you use and how sweet your apple cider is, you might not have to do anything 
to this to finish it off. In my case, it's just right. Without the honey, with what I used here, it's it's lightly sweet. It's got the the elements of the, the lemon steeping in there and that cinnamon stick, the spices from the cider are coming through. And the tea is kind of just carrying it and giving it this body. I'm gonna add some honey. Um, I don't know if it maintains its uh, antibacterial sort of health food properties when you add it to something hot, but I don't care. I want some honey. See how that that's just gonna stay down there for a bit. And give that a little taste. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, never mind. Do the honey. It doesn't necessarily make it sweet. Um, it does sweeten it, but it doesn't make it sweet. It sort of enhances the body of the cider in the tea and plays off the lemon. It's, it's really good. My body is requiring ginger ale at this time, but it's very good and its sleepy effects are already starting to work. Could you make this uh, in a large batch over the stove and throw the lemon into it as a last second thought and that way it's just a lemon floating on there maybe with a garnish or some cinnamon or something? Yeah, you could. Um, there's a lot of ways to dress up uh, a hot toddy. It's a pretty, you know, bog standard cocktail. This one here gets the job done and I think will be an excellent accoutrement to this pot roast. Oh yes, it very much is a delicious accoutrement to this pot roast. Well, thank you all so much for uh, watching this episode of uh, 25 Drinks of Christmas. Sorry if I seem very low energy, I am very low energy. Not only do I not feel well, nobody at the office does. So uh, four or five people were out today um, and uh, it wasn't pretty, it was very busy. <laughs> as Mondays always are. I'm just glad I survived. <laughs> I'm going to finish this pot roast, finish this toddy, drink that Verner's while I edit this video, and then collapse face first into a bed and cuddle with my cat. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next week, next week, tomorrow, excuse me, <laughs> for another episode of 25 Drinks of Christmas. Thanks for watching. See you around. Goodbye. <sighs> I feel ill.